Yes, Lillard, he got the shot off! Lillard, yeah! The last decade or so for the NBA has been great. We've seen a high level of play all around, and we've seen a lot of parity with various teams, such as the Miami Heat, San Antonio Spurs, Golden State Warriors, and now the Lakers all getting their time in the spotlight. However, we're in a new decade now, and the game is changing. In this video, we'll look at why the end of an era in the NBA is getting near, and what's coming next. But before we get into this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss any of the new videos that we post. Older players. Many of the best players in the NBA have been around for ages by now. LeBron James, after all, is 36. And this makes a bit of sense. It doesn't put as much wear and tear on the body to play basketball compared to a more physical sport like football or hockey. And the trend of players staying in the league for a long time isn't a recent one either. We've seen a lot of the greats in the NBA play far past others in leagues like the NFL would retire. And LeBron is one of those players that just won't give up and has a career that will keep going for the foreseeable future. Still, at 36 years old, we all know LeBron can't do it forever. His age is probably one of the motivating factors in his move to Los Angeles. After all, LeBron has business interests there, and settling in Los Angeles right now is a good move to prepare for retirement and focusing on those business investments like his film company. Los Angeles is also obviously one of the top cities when it comes to TV and broadcasting, and if we see LeBron go into that field like some other major athletes have after retirement, being located there will be a big benefit. We've already started to see a changing of the guard. LeBron is indeed one of the best players in the league right now and is still an MVP candidate candidate, but his play has dropped off a bit compared to previous years in his prime when he was able to do more to lift the team on his own. We don't see it as much because the Lakers are one of the most talented teams in the league and LeBron has good help all around him, but the fact that there's a lot more parity in the MVP race in general this year compared to some of the years in the recent past shows how others are starting to catch up to LeBron and the other elite superstars in the league. It's not just LeBron either. He might be the face of the NBA, but there are a lot of other players who have had huge roles in the league in general during the past decade that we'll see rising competition from younger stars in the coming years. Kevin Durant is famous for being one of the top scorers in the league and a competitor to LeBron when it comes to the MVP award, but he's also getting up there in age. He's 32 years old, and while he's having one of his best seasons with Brooklyn Nets right now and in the running to win a title, we don't know how long that'll last. And indeed, one of the reasons why Durant decided to make the move from the very successful Golden State Warriors to try his hand at winning a title without Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson and Draymond Green may have to do with wanting to have a larger hand in a title while he still has a chance to do so as the main character of a team, and not just some veteran piece added in a trade to a ring-chasing contender. For players in the NBA, it's not always about just money or even about playing for the best team, but legacy. Some of the top players right now seem distinctly aware of their legacies and how they don't have so many years left to add to them. We saw LeBron leave Cleveland for the second time to go to LA, and it's not just because LA is the place that LeBron wants to retire to, even if there's probably some truth to that theory. We're seeing Kevin Durant join the Nets in the hunt of another ring, and one that will see him play a more central role if the Nets can pull it off. James Harden, 31 years old, also went for a trade to the same team as Durant, and one of the reasons is reportedly his dissatisfaction with the state of the Houston Rockets. Things were bad on both sides in Houston, with other members of the team not viewing Harden as a committed leader, and Harden not looking at the team as good enough. But once again, we see a common motivation in the move. A star player is getting older and wants to add to his legacy, and moves teams to help with doing that. As for Stephen Curry, who has already achieved everything there is to achieve, but could still add some things to his accomplishments, like more rings, well, he's 32 years old. And not every player in the NBA is like LeBron and is going to keep up the same performance when he's 36 years old. LeBron's performance is the exception and not the norm, and these next few seasons for the Warriors might be the last time we really see their own group of stars shine before they get overtaken by the next generation entirely. Injury problems accelerated the decline of the Warriors, just as ask any Warriors fan how well the team played while dealing with injury-based absences for both Curry and Klay Thompson. In the coming season, and even the years beyond that, don't be surprised if the Warriors end up making big moves to try and make one more push at a title, while their core of players is still able to compete for one effectively. We might see Curry and Thompson play at a high level longer than some other players have because, after all, both of them are shooting specialists instead of players that focus more on driving and rebounding and put more wear and tear on their bodies. But playing a professional sport is still playing a professional sport, and there aren't any easy roles in the NBA. Some players might last longer than others, but all of them have a biological clock, still, that continues ticking every season that passes. Then
the next generation. We're seeing a lot of the stars that we've rooted for over the years move into the later part of their careers. But that doesn't mean there's not a bright future in front of the league. There is, if you consider the top young talents rising in the NBA right now and getting ready to take over when the keys are handed to them fully. And some of these players are even changing the game entirely, coming up with new spins on existing play styles and new techniques that we might not have thought were possible in the past. Take Nikola Jokic as an example. At 26 years old, Jokic is one of the players that will be in the NBA for a long time yet to come. He is also a large player to be one of the top passers in the league, standing at 6 foot 11. But that big height and playing the center position hasn't stopped Jokic from becoming the top passing center in the league and being a better playmaker than a lot of the point guards in the league too. Jokic isn't just a combination scorer and passer, but rather a playmaker in his own right that might contribute more assists to the Denver Nuggets than anyone else on any given night. You have to find some pretty good point guards to find ones that have more assists per game than him. But it's understandable how Jokic's game turned out like this. He's not from the United States, but rather from Serbia. And while not playing under a more traditional system at an American high school and college coming up as a youth player, Jokic was able to perfect his style of play and turn it into something that works for the NBA. If Jokic had just been another player in the NCAA, there's a good chance his head coach would have just told him that trying to be a playmaker at his size was unrealistic and that he should just focus on using his size to play like a more typical center. And while he might have been good at that, just playing like another traditional center wouldn't innovate. But he's not the only player in the new generation of the NBA that's rewriting rules and bringing a fresh play style that hasn't been seen before. Luka Doncic is said to be the one lined up to be the next LeBron, which is a tall order and many others in the past have failed to live up to it. But based on his career so far, it looks like Doncic is for real and really is set to take over as the face of the NBA once LeBron retires. Just like LeBron, it hasn't taken very long for him to become a dominant player in the league and make his mark as one of the top superstars at only the age of 21. Like Jokic, Doncic is another member of the new wave of talent that also brings with him a new talent if you look at his play on the surface level. After all, you might see a familiarity with the play style of LeBron. They both have some of the same things, including driving to the rim, shooting over opponents, and being strong rebounders and playmakers, despite not being big men or point guards. However, where LeBron has the advantage of significant athleticism and is probably one of the best athletic prospects in the NBA in general, Doncic has had to work with skill as his main advantage as well as his own basketball IQ and feel for the game. Some players just have a unique feel for the game, and Doncic is one of them, and his aggressive but skills-based play style is a change from what we've seen more traditionally with more technical players being considered softer or more boring than those that drive to the paint and score through more physical means. All in all, there's a ton of examples of players that have really bright futures in the league, and just because it's the end of an era soon enough doesn't mean the next era won't be great too. Zion Williamson, Trey Young, Luka Doncic, and Giannis Antetokounmpo are just some of the players that are heading into their prime or already taking over. And if what we've seen so far stays the same, the league will be more entertaining than ever when these players take over.